don't think so. Who knows? Now we're ready to go. Trucks are prohibited here from I-77, which where we are to the Virginia line. This must be a hairy road, I guess. We'll find out.
literally closed. Do not enter campground closed. This is not good. On the way up here, there were lots of deer. We went to uh, Buck Mountain, which is a private mountain. There are like three instances I caught deer on here. Actually, we saw an accident the other night too. Here's here's the first one, ready? Uh, let's see. Okay, right around the corner. Right there. Deer coming up. Actually, this is the last one. It's in backwards order, I think. Going around the corner, and there's a deer right there, see? Oops, right there, that was a small one. Uh, dash cam, try this one. I guess there's another deer here. Actually, that was the first one. This is the one we just saw, right? I think. Maybe not. Maybe this was a different deer. Right up to, yeah, it was on the side there. That was a different one. Uh, we had this one. This one was right in the road, I think, if I remember. As I came around the corner to the left, You'll see it, a big one, a giant deer. Come around the corner and there it is, whoa, right in front of the car. See, right in front of the car. And then last night, this is what we saw last night, just an accident. You didn't quite see this, right, Denise? You went to see the replay on the side of the road up here. We're all slowing down. And here's the police cars. And you'll see the front of this thing smashed in. Actually, let's go on the right view here. Right view. Take a look. See that all smashed in. That was the accident from last night. It's very quiet here. That's the main road. I see rhododendron blooming over there. A little stream and creek, water rolling off the leaves here. And we can access the trail outside the campground, so we're gonna park here across the road. It should be okay, I hope. I got all the fruit and kombucha. And put it in there, backpack. So we parked right across the street from the trail and the campground. There's this little area here where the horse trail is, and there's this cool campsite I was looking down here. They've got some blooming rhododendron here, and it's right along a creek, and there's some litter. I think that was from Denise, actually. Did you leave that there? Like this, okay, it's a creek. And see, there's a little campsite right here, a little fire with little logs to sit on. This is right next to where we parked. But this is the northern end where the sun is, or the eastern end we're gonna go over to the west side of the road that's where the trail is look at all these blooming rhododendron in here all right that's it for this area so it's actually not raining it's just water rolling off the trees i think anyway All right, that's where we parked. And we can go straight across the street. The campground is over here, but the trail goes right down in here. We should be able to access. Denise, look at this, no horses in campground. But there's horse poop on the trail. <laughs> They're stepping the, in it. <laughs> I'm stepping in it. This is the actual the campground over here. And like, this is wilderness, it says. Yeah. National Forest Wilderness. This is the actual horse area, but we're not gonna go there. We're gonna go through here 
to hook up with the actual people trail. Yeah, say hook up with some horses. Hook up with some horses, yeah. You should know all the people here. This is a dicky air dicky dicky knob. Denise likes horse poop and she can always pick it out and I step all in it. <laughs> All right, here's the closed campground. They have bathrooms. This is like one of these city campgrounds. Everyone pulls in with their trucks and RVs and it's everyone, everyone's loud. Okay, the trail head is supposed to be right over here. Yeah, it is. Okay, here's the bridge trail to the, tra bridge to the trail, trail to the bridge, whatever. I probably should be, knocking cobwebs out of the way. So this might be the same creek. More blooming rhododendron. And if we're not the only one from this trail, there's a problem. Look at all the blooming rhododendron. Okay, this is open to year-long foot travel, close to all of the usage, it says. That's good. And it says something branch, let's say someone broke the top of the sign off. It's something branch wilderness. And I don't, we'll have to look on the all trails just to see how, where we go. Let's see, somebody broke that off. I think we go this way. I have a feeling this trail is not going to be marked. There's our morning light. All right, so we went to the right, although the left might meet up also. Yeah, this is another stream coming down from the mountain. We're going to be following this one up, I'm guessing. And these markers have been vandalized. I guess they're, they have something on them. But already I like this trail. I mean, there's nobody, that can be anybody on it. There's water, lots of water features, shade, flower, flowering rhododendron. And we've seen lots of deer on the way over here, on the drive over here. Well, Denise was asleep in the back. More wilderness, close to motor vehicles. So this ought to be very, very quiet. Just us and the bears. And Denise likes bears, right? Yes. It is another bridge. <laughs> Look at that view here of the stream. Somebody, at least at some point, has spent a lot of time maintaining this trail. At least the beginning of it. And you have benches, look, more benches. Bring your grandparents, if you were grandparents. The grandkids probably couldn't even make it this far. They'd have to turn back already. Another one and vandalized white pine eastern white pine it says but that's this this thing look how tall this thing is my gosh that's eastern white pine i guess this is what how, how tall they get when you don't cut them there's some very tall trees in here more pine up there all the way up and there's a spur here i gotta i'm gonna have to look at the all trails we're definitely going in two different directions and there's a sign. Let's see what the sign says. Uh, it says Dicky Knob to the right, Raccoon Branch to the left. I guess this is like a loop. Like maybe if we want some extra distance at the end, maybe we can do that. But we're going to Dicky Knob. I notice also there's a lot of moss on all the trees here. Notice that? We're getting some 
So it's just shady. It's very shady, very dense. A lot of the forested areas are cut. The trees are cut a lot. Maybe they just don't cut many trees here. I don't know. Or it's just that we're in a convergence of a lot of streams, so it's always moist. I don't know. Right there. That's why there's no moss there. That's my walking stick too. Hello. That's the sound of nature. All right, we're gonna continue the hike now, and I gotta just finish my kombucha so I can start swat swatting all the spider webs. It's already 8.20. We started off at FII around 8 o'clock, but we've been really kind of lingering in these areas, so we haven't been going very fast. This, we believe, is rhododendron. And we're hearing a lot of birds, as you can hear, also. How is the Dickey Ridge Trail so far? <laughs> I like this trail. It's clear and well maintained. Well, is it? Well, consider there's no maintenance. <laughs> they haven't done any maintenance in a while, but they've, in the past, they've done maintenance. They cleared it well enough so that the weeds aren't going to grow over this area. It's, it's a wide enough trail. <laughs> There's a little bit of water there. Small amount. You can hear it. Did you need a guardrail? There's a little creek and there's another little bridge here. Half bridge. You can see there's a little bit of flowing water. Just a little bit. Oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? A deer? No, listen. It's rain. Is it real rain or is it just a wind? What the hell? It's like somebody turned the switch on. What is all that about? I think, it, is it a breeze from above? Yeah, it's a breeze way above. Way above in the trees. You see how tall they are? That's what that was, yeah. It shook it off. You can hear it happening over there too. Because we're like in a hollow here and the trees are very tall, very shady. Quiet again. Sun is really peeking out now. See it there. Yeah, it's warming up. We're about 0.85 miles on the hike, at least from where we parked, and it's taken us about a half hour so far. There's a tree in the way, but that's not going to be a problem to get by. And because this is so, at least in this part, so heavily shaded and wooded, there's not really much to maintain except for a fallen tree because it's not real, uh, not a real good environment for 
undergrowth to even take over, it seems like. How's the speed? How are we doing with the speed? Going too fast. Too fast? Yes. Well, if you ask me, this is a fairly easy hike. We are going uphill the whole way, but this is very gradual uphill. There's another like area where there's a stream probably or run off during storms. And we're gonna go switch back here up at this point. I don't hear any water in this section. Must only be for rainstorms. Don't slide down this little hill here. Okay. It, could, it could be fun if you're a kid, right? Yeah. Play king of the hill here. What would happen if you're playing king of the hill and you push some kid down? Oh, they may never recover. Look, here's a shortcut someone took. I think that's a deer trail. I, well, I, you think it's deer trail? I have a feeling this is the trail goes right here. We'll probably see it up yeah, there. Yeah, I see the trail. I think the water has been... Making this trail. There is some deer uh, water down there. Now we switch back in the other direction. We'll see if I have a feeling that was. Denise says it's deer, but I have a feeling it's humans. Let's see. All right, does this look familiar? Yeah. I think this is humans. That's my my take. Straight down to the trail. Yeah, the rain has been washing all the leaves right down. I think it's humans. I think it's... I don't think deer are doing that, but... So you think it's deer? No, it could have started with deer, but it, it's being maintained by the water running down the hill. Oh. Even with the stick going, I'm getting spider webs all over me. Without it, it would be a lot worse. You're welcome. Load of gravel section that gets washed out. It's just a particularly rocky area. We're about 1.3 miles, about 45 minutes in. And I want to mention there's no been no mobile signal this entire time we've been in this area. It's very quiet. It seems like this trail is just one hollow or stream cut out something in the side of the mountain after another. We're just kind of going around it and around it. It's, it's definitely unique like that because I don't think we've been on a trail like that. We've been on a lot of trails, not trails consistently like this. Starting to get maybe a little too brushy in this area. Well, this is a lot of... Uh, Mountain laurel, actually, about to, about to bloom, getting ready to bloom. Not blooming yet. At least it's not, hopefully it's not poison ivy. I don't, 
I hope not. Hard to make out, but there are some views over there, I see. There's another mountain off in the distance. Let's take another turn, sharp turn. This trail is a series of sharp turns. And this is, I guess at the edge of this mountain, we're going on the other side now. It's a steep drop down. Okay, revision of what I said earlier. At this height, um, I've got some mobile signal. And I can also hear the road down below now. It must be on the roadside. Denise says there were no, not really any bugs until the sun is out now. And now she's noticing bugs. A lot of bugs? Yeah. A lot of bugs, she says. Huge rhododendrons here, huge. Look at the size of these things. It's all rhododendron on the side here, and it's steep. I didn't know they can grow in this kind of steepness. And look, even up here, all rhododendron. This is all rhododendron, everywhere we go in this section. I guess it's a good climate for them. Back into the rhododendron here. That's a flowering rhododendron up here. It's gonna get really shady. Look at this. Look at this rhododendron tunnel. <clears throat> it's like a perfect microclimate, like the other spot. I think they're even flowering in here. Rhododendron tunnel. Looks like the trail takes a sharp right up here. Very humid. Oh my gosh. Like just a little water. A little water in here. Yeah. Maybe after a heavy rain, right? Yeah. All right, all that is about an hour in for 1.82 miles. So maybe like one and three quarter miles to there is all that road is ending. You can see we're at a different angle now, so it's gonna be a different climate. They're not gonna be, not the same as it was over there. I've never, we've hiked a lot of trails. I've never seen a rhododendron tunnel like that. And there were two of them. The high ground underneath the sun there, just to the left of the sun, that is the top. That's Dickey Knob, and that's where we're going. We have to loop around a couple times until we finally make it there. You can catch some views already. Down at this level. That's where we're going. And 
It's just like a post put in here by someone, but I don't see what it's for. You can see when it rains, this is a stream. It's just that no one hikes on here because no one's maintaining this trail. A lot of mountain laurel in here. Microclimate. Denise is back there somewhere. Is that her? Yeah, way back there. It's still all the way uphill. I'm seeing some views here, but it's still fog near the mountaintops. Maybe that'll burn off just in time for us to be up there or still be capped with fog. We're getting close. Look at this, what's this? I think this is the last major turn and then we get up to the top what is this this is like another trail that comes in here look there's like a junction foot trail only so maybe horses come up through here that looks like to the top of the mountain that looks like foot trail hiking trail i don't know where that goes maybe this is a car trail horse trail there's a lot of different trail junctions here i think i think that's the one of it let me check the map must be the first trail because it's wide enough for a vehicle at first glance it looks like this because it goes to the top but i think we take this one it loops around a little bit and then turns and says foot trail and we are 2.3 miles and an hour and 15 minutes to get to this point i also have a feeling other people took that other area as a shortcut and we might take it on the way back this it's not very well traveled at all maybe there is a way for vehicles to get up here and horses Look at all the mountain laurel. All mountain laurel. Bird, two birds. Never seen this much mountain laurel either on the hike. Just non stop mountain laurel. Denise heard a cow down in the valley a few times. I just keep hearing the birds. Getting very close, very close. Looks like we're looping the last bend up to the top. That's what it looks like. 
Oh, just making some views here and big drop off. Wow. Check this out. Yeah, just gonna be some views. This might even be the only view. I don't know. There may not be a view at the top. And this is gonna be a view. There's a bottle of Aquafina. Yeah. There we go. This might be the only view. I don't know if there's a view at the top. They left the water here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Do we? Okay, there you can see now. Okay. Woo! That light is so bright. We like we had a light like this in Pennsylvania at Loyal Sock. Remember? Mm. I need my sunglasses. Glasses are fine. There we go. Ooh. All right. So we're moving off of this. We will see if there's any other views. This may be the only view, and that may be why this is the uh, the walking area because there may not be a view at the top. But I think there's a marker at the top mentioning it's the top of the mountain. But that's it. We'll see. It's, I see all trees here. More moss. Right in this patch of sunlight is moss. See that? That moss hits right in the patch of sunlight here. Micro. Well, because this is so undisturbed, you can see all the like little microclimates that you don't normally see because they get messed up by humans. Yeah. We're almost to the end and it's all trees. At least it's a lot cooler, but I don't think there's any views. I think there's some remnants and some stuff over there. We might take a look. But I think this is it, right up here. All right, so the trail kind of goes right and left. This is probably the shortcut down, which we will take. But then the top is right up here. And it looks like no view, but we can have a little picnic at least. And it's a nice hike, quiet. It's all the rhododendron areas. Hey, look at this. This kind of circles around here. You see there's some concrete foundations. We saw all the rhododendron and mountain laurel like I've never seen before. Look at this, Denise. I think it might be part of a foundation of an old fire tower or something. It doesn't look like a house. But you can see that it just drops off in all directions. And if they had cleared the trees, it'd be a great view. It'd be a great view if they had a tower here, which they apparently have had one, but it's not here anymore. I'm gone. And I think there's some kind of survey marker up here somewhere. This might be it. Right here. On here. What does it say? U.S. reference point? Yeah. Survey marker? Jeez. How many feet are we? Well, this is at the high point, and we can hear traffic below there. We can hear them a little bit. Alright, so it says uh, either 1,099 meters on Strava or 3,000. 606 feet on all trails app but this is it this is the place this is what we have no view up top but good picnic area and like i said all kinds of undisturbed microclimates like we've never seen i've never seen places like this right i mean it's worth it just to, and it's quiet except for that road you hear the road on, you know, on the roadside on the back side you hear nothing you see how the squirrel yeah i guess you Cows from a farm over yeah, there. Yeah, that's right. You heard cows. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a nice tree canopy. It's nice and cool under the trees here. As long as you stay under the trees. Because that one open area, it got much hotter when we were standing there. It's either the heat from the sunshine or from you and I together, Denise. What do you think? It's from us climbing the hill. Us climbing the hill, yeah. Yes. There's a seat and a table here for a picnic. Right here. All right, I want to do a review of this cotton candy. They're organic cotton candy. Apparently they are not GMO, they are organic. And they're super sweet, because usually green grapes are not sweet. As we found out, we tend to go with the darker ones. But these, we, you can see we've already eaten some of these. We started eating these yesterday. We got them at Trader Joe's. 
and they are super sweet. They have apparently twice as much sugar and more calories because of that than, than regular green grapes, but they are super sweet. They're just like candy. You can't eat that many of them, so we didn't even, they were delicious, but we didn't finish them, but we figured we'll finish them now. Yeah, this is, I eat sweet candy, like a lot of sugar candy without fat. This stuff is just as sweet, if not sweeter. It almost doesn't seem right eating something like this and being this sweet. Look at the, the goosebumps. Hold on. Oh, you went away. Uh, you have um, goosebumps. Yeah, it's kind of chilly goosebumps. up here. Goosebumps. Well, I can't. All right, so hour and a half and two and three quarter miles to get here. Was it worth it? It's breezy now. Not really. There's nothing to see up here. <laughs> well, it was, well, there was kind of anticlimactic, but we had the one view. Mm -hmm. I still liked all the nature stuff, even if it wasn't views. All right, here's the actual marker, I think. This mm -hmm. says Dickey, 1934. Did the other one say Dicky on it? This one has a penny. Look, that penny that's in it. Is this, is that like a 1934 penny? It looks like a penny here that's in there, but I can't see a date or someone rubbed it out. I don't know if it's in here permanently. Wait, wait, this is not, what? It's not permanent. It's loose. Oh, it's been there for what? a while. What? What the hell? Someone put their own penny in there? That's... Dicky, 1934. It's, it's recent. It's got a like a memorial on the back. But, uh, I'm just gonna put it back. Cause the old ones had wheat stalks on the back. They're super old ones from around this time frame, the 30s. Denise, who is a Dickie, is trying to get a selfie here with the, with the survey that says Dickie on it. You'll get the Dickie survey. Yeah. yeah. All right, am I close enough? A I, selfie, not a video. We're doing video right now. I'll, I'll pause this in a second. Am I posed properly? All right, so we're leaving and we're, that's where we, we walked up from here, but we're not going that way. We're going the shortcut this way. So we'll take some area, take some time off here. And then on the way back, we're going to do a little bit of extra loop around the campground. I forgot my sticks. I'm already getting hit with spider webs. Ah! Got my blueberries. There are more, more sticks in the forest? Mm -hmm. Oh. That's the top of the mountain back there. Going back to the junction of trails. We're almost there. Here's the trail junction. I'm guessing this horse trail is like kind of where we parked it probably goes down it's a much more much longer route and I guess that's another horse trail right but no horses foot traffic only so we go back to the bottom I don't need my stick anymore unless there's new but hopefully there are no new spider webs hopefully all right that was a very easy hike down the mountain very easy this is an easy trail in general, I'd say. We're gonna take this little area here where it forked off that we didn't go to to kind of make a little loop down here, see what, what it's like. Raccoon Branch, actually, maybe that's just the uh, creek, I don't know. I, I have a feeling it loops around because it went on the other side too, we'll see. We'll just get a little bit of extra walking here. Or we'll see what the condition of the trail is also. I wonder if that Raccoon Branch campground floods out. It could be one of the reasons why it's closed.
So here's the bridge. I think this is where it loops around. So let's get a little bit of extra distance, not much. A picture? So the, yeah, the path ends here, <coughs> at least it seems to end here. They want they want to make sure you stop here. Yeah. And then you go across. You get... Whoa! Oh Denise? Right Whoa. It's really there's, an, there's a waterfall over there. All right, be careful not to slip. It is very slippery. And you said there's mosquitoes jumping in the water here? Yeah, they walk on the water. They keep jumping forward so they don't go over the piles. I guess that's all they do all day. Okay, so I think we think this just loops around where we started. Look at this mossy rock. So you can get out onto the waterfall here. There's a fork in the trail here. No horses. I guess that goes to the horse trail. I guess. To Virginia Highlands Horse Trail. Raccoon Branch Trail just loops around. Yep, so this way, that's the horse trail. We'll go we'll back. This will take us back to the car. Yeah, I can see the campground through the trees now. And this is where we split earlier. Whoa, look at, look at that spider web. Right here is where we split earlier. Whoa, come on. So we're back to the car now. Just yeah, it broke. As we realize now, that is where we were. We just came from there. Mount Dickey. Dickey Knob. All right, so about two hours, 45 minutes, and five and a quarter miles. That's what we did here. Was it worth doing? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It was, very, it was an easy hike for us. This was definitely an easy hike for us. This is the Mount Rogers National Recreation Area, and Denise saw Dickey Farm, and we saw I saw Dickey Creek Road, and we're driving out of this area now. So. Pulling in for charge number one thousand nine hundred ninety-one. This is a very small charger here. Thank you. 